Hello everyone, I'm gonna explain really quickly how to do a retrospective using Easy Happen. So first you can come here uh, on your dashboard and create a new board. So you can give the board name here. Uh, you also can uh, configure how many votes do you have per user. And you can come here and select a template for the board. We're gonna select the first one. And these are extra configuration that you can use, but we're gonna uh, let the full value for now. So once you create your board, you can get the URL here and share with your participants so they can participate on the retro. So let's start by first hiding the cards here. This configuration allows people to enter cards without uh, being able to see the other people cards. So after you enable hiding cards, you can come here and add a timer. So let's add uh, five minutes for the first brainstorm phase. So you can see the timer here and then you can start uh, brainstorming and adding cards for the board. People are going to start adding cards on the went well column and also to improve column. Once everybody finished, you can stop the timer or the timer will be over already. And you can come here and show the cards to everybody. The next phase would be to check which cards are the same and you can merge the cards. You can easily merge by just dragging one card on top of another and the cards will be merged. You can also change the column of the card by just dragging the card to another column. So after you organize the, the cards, you can start the, the timer again for the voting phase. And for the voting phase, each people will have six uh, votes by default. So people can vote. And you can give some time for people to, to end in voting. And so you can, after everybody finished, you can come here and sort uh, all the cards by votes. So you can see the most voted cards on top. And you can discuss all the cards. So you can give another five minutes and you can discuss all the cards and create, create the proper action items for each card. And this will be like the main flow of the retrospective, the brainstorm, the merging, the voting, the order by votes, the discussion of the most uh, voted ones and the created action items for the next retrospective. So a couple of extra features that we have on, on Easy Hatro is the comments. So let's say people has a has a, a question about one of the cards. They can just add comments here. And this, the comments will be added to the bottom. You can also edit cards, add emoji to cards. You can change the column names, you can change the color, you can reorder columns how you like it. Uh, you can create surveys now as well, to, so you can ask a survey how you feel it today, like in the beginning of the retrospective, so everybody can, can vote and you can have a, a notion of how your team is feeling. So here is the the survey and once the the board is the retrospective is done you can come here and export your board to many formats so you can share the results by email you can also integrate uh, with confluence so you can export your retrospective uh, results to your team confluence and this is basically the the main the main features that we have right now for Easy Hatter in your retrospectives. Thanks, everyone. I hope you enjoy it. Bye bye.